we go. <laughs> there he is. Hello, everybody. This is Shane of Honor. And today we have to unbox and set up after struggling, trying to figure out how to get this out of the box for you guys. For who knows how long, we'll see how long that is after I edit it, is the 7-foot LED Howling Werewolf by Techie sold at Big Lots. This, as soon as those leaks came out, and I was able to share with you guys what I found, this became one of my most highly sought after animatronics for the season. And I was really, really on the hunt for this. And a friend out in California, Fox of the Dead, go follow him. I will put his description and his link for him down below. So you can go and follow him and subscribe to him. He is the reason I was able to grab this guy. And a huge thank you to Big Lots for actually sending me a gift card to purchase this guy. Big Lots reached out to me after they saw the reviews I did of their other products and they sent me this gift card to be able to go out and share my Big Lots finds and purchase some products from their store. They wrote here, hi Jaden, we wanted to send you a little something as a thank you again for the awesome videos you shared of our animated Halloween props. We hope you'll enjoy this gift card and be sure to tag us in your hashtag Big Lots finds. Stay spooky, Big Lots social team. So huge thank you to Big Lots for that. I am so thrilled to have finally found this guy. I'm so excited to use him this year. He is so, so cool. So let's go ahead and open this box right here at the top. And he is, looks really nicely packaged in here, which is awesome. His head is already right here at the top. Bubble wrap, I'm not sure what I can pull out because it doesn't look like he has a slot for me to pull out. So, this is an empty box for a spacer. This is also an empty box for a spacer, but this does, however, have his instructions, the wire clip, and a tool to help you disassemble them at the end of the season. Well, ooh, okay, his body came out. Okay, so here is his body. Well, this is, okay, this is already a lot bigger than what I was expecting him to be. Oh, look at how furry he is. He is really, really soft. Okay, let me see if I can get this off of him. I don't want to damage him. So let's see. I can get all of this off. Break that tape there. Oh my gosh. There he is. Look at his face. Oh, he looks so awesome. I love his eyes. His jaw moves and everything. He is really, really soft. I am really, really excited for him. So there is that. I'm going to lay his body down right there. Out of the way. Here is pants that does have his hip ring in there as well and then there is the base here that looks like whoa whoa it comes out with a lot of pieces tied to it so i don't want this to smack down because that has the control box on it i don't want that to get damaged but the leg pull because control box another leg pull and his base are all right here tied together and then there is this box down here I just dropped it back in there. So this box says it contains the feet, waist frame, the module, which I presume is gonna be the pop-up module that makes him move, the arm poles with foam, hands, backward, back wire frame, and springs. So we're gonna go ahead and get all of his parts laid out, make sure I have everything, make sure you have everything, and we'll get to his setup. Here is everything that the seven foot animated Howling Werewolf comes with. You have your two arms left and right, your large heavy duty base, two springs, your pop-up module, this connector that will connect your body form pieces and your pop-up module, two straight poles labeled A, two body form pieces, one blue, one yellow, your waist form attachment, two leg poles, one with a control box and one without, two hands left and right, two feet left and right, his pants with the IR sensor inside, and the werewolf himself. Let's get to a setup. The first thing you're gonna do is locate both of your straight poles labeled A and snap lock those into the back of the base. These are very, very important. Do not activate this animatronic without these parts on. These help stabilize this animatronic with the very violent motion that he has. Now we are going to locate his leg poles and feet and do a pretty strange little assembly right here. In order to put on the feet with the legs assembly, you are going to have to slide the feet up on over the leg pole, preferably up to a point where you can grab it and attach it to the base because the notch on the base is too short 
to connect it from up in there. And the parts up top, such as the control box, are too big to fit through the leg. So you will have to slide those on over the leg poles and then snap the leg into the base and then slide the feet on over, ensuring to attach the little notch that is sticking up on the bottom of the base through the feet so that way the feet do not shift around during animation. Now we are going to slide on over his pants. After sliding on over the pants, go ahead and locate your part labeled D and E that will have your pivoting part. Snap lock that into the leg poles and now locate your part labeled F that will have a wire coming from it and snap lock it up here in the F slot. After snapping in your part F, go ahead and locate your pop-up module. Pull out the cotter pin on the part labeled G down here, slide through the pop-up module, ensuring that the gearbox is facing away from the pole. Do not have the gearbox next to the pole or else when it is popping up in motion, it will be smacking up against this pole and potentially cause damage to the module. You do not want that to happen. Afterwards, go ahead and put that cotter pin through. Make sure it is through all the way to where it will not pop out when it is in motion. And then release the pull pin up here at the top, attaching it, ensuring to match H to H. This would be a great time to go ahead and start plugging in some of your wires down here to get a head start. The wires that I have gone ahead and plugged in consist of the pop-up module, the safety plug that will not let the animatronic activate unless that is plugged in, and the motion sensor down in the pants. After having those three plugs plugged in, you should only have two plugs left to plug in, and that is going to be Q and P. Next, let's go ahead and snap lock on the wolf's body at the top of the frame, matching eye to eye, right up here, eye to eye, and then go ahead and locate the two wires coming down from his head, plug them in running down through the front of the module. You do not want them in the back as you do not want this to damage the wiring when he does fly back, and those wires you will connect will be Q and P, and then all of your wiring is complete. Now there are a few structural parts that we have to do now, so let's get to them. Next, let's go ahead and snap lock both of the wolves' arms on, ensuring that they are on the designated spots. They are hinged differently, they do have two different snap locks, so they will only fit on one way. After you have his arms on, let's go ahead and attach his hands, ensuring that we do have them on the correct sides. After attaching the wolves' hands, go ahead and locate the two color coordinated body forms. These are going to go in his back, blue at the top and yellow at the bottom. These are very, very important. Make sure you have these on. These are going to help keep the clothing out of his module. When attaching the springs, be careful as they are very strong. The smaller loop of the springs is going to be at the top and the larger loop of the springs is going to be at the bottom. Once you have his springs attached, go ahead and locate your wire clip and attach that here in the center of the body ensuring that you have the two cables coming from his head locked inside of that to ensure that it does not get caught with the violent motion of this animatronic. Now let's go ahead and take a look at his controls. The wolf can be activated three ways. One is on where he will activate via the IR sensor that is in his pant leg, off where he will do nothing, and foot pad where you can plug in your foot pad, charmy button, or any sort of external triggers that you have. This animatronic is very versatile in the ways you can use him, as he can run on four AA batteries. You can take him to a trunk or tree, have him on your front porch, or have him somewhere where you simply just do not have a place to plug in a power cord. However, he does have the opportunity to use a power cord. However, that is not included. The power cord is not included. You will have to supply that yourself. I do have an extra adapter on hand that I will be using with this guy for this demo. So we are going to flip him to on, and we are going to pull up his pants and attach them to these notches here. Now let's go ahead and finish the clothing on the wolf. The wolf has this large piece of black padded foam that does slide on over the back of him to make him look a little bit more natural. Straighten that out to make him look nice and presentable, and then we're going to turn him around and attach the Velcro strips that we have in the front of him. As far as Velcro strips on the front of the wolf, he does have two that are on his chest hair fabric part that do Velcro right on the sides of the part that is labeled front on the front of his pants, and then he has a longer piece of Velcro that is right here that does Velcro down to fill him up. Afterwards, your setup is complete. Now, all we have to do is add some weight to the base. This is very, very, very important. Do not skip out on this step. He will need some weight on the front of his base to help prevent him from flipping backwards. He does have those supports back there, which do help a lot, but it helps even more to have weight on his base. 
So I'm gonna find some way to put on his base and then we're gonna plug him in, watch him reset and watch him go. And here he is all plugged up and ready to go. Now let's go ahead and turn it to the side and look at an activation that way. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the new for 2024 seven foot animated Howling Werewolf by Techie sold at Big Lots. Holy freaking crap, you guys. This is one of the best animatronics ever in retail. This animation is one of the most fitting we have seen on an animatronic in retail with this wolf flying back and ripping off his shirt with the animation of the spring loaded arms, the spring loaded back leaning. This is such a really, really well done animatronic. It is engineered really well and it is made really well. I am very, very impressed with how this is built. I'm sure a lot of you are speculating that this is not going to last because of the wobbling it has. And I assure you that speculation is incorrect. This has the upgraded pop-up module we have seen used on mechanisms from Techie in the past that have lasted very, very well. This is the upgraded version of the pop-up module that you have seen used on their uh, hell spawn, and that mechanism didn't have any issues. You never saw any broken hell spawns last year. This has that mechanism. I have absolute 100% faith in this mechanism, especially with all the maintenance and stuff and repairing I've done on these animatronics the last 10 plus years. I don't see this having any issues. This is made very, very well. The wobbling of bouncing back and forth is very, very much intended. The way you saw in the setup, how that part pivots up and down to make him lean back, that is the part that bounces around. It is like that so that there is not so much stress on the mechanism and the base welds, because if this popped up and stayed sturdy, he would be bending and damaging his base a lot, and that would be a really, really bad design, and I'm really happy with how to design it with having that part pivot back and forth to help just spread out the stress points of this animatronic. I have lifted up the shirt and actually watched it work, seeing how the mechanism flies back. The mechanism does not fly back violently at all. All of the torso area is moving very smoothly, not very fast. It is all just the upper body with the head that is reinforced and welded very, very nicely that is getting all of the stress points. It is done really, really well. I am really impressed with how Techie engineered this. This is such an amazing buy at Big Lots this season. This is retailing for $299.99. That is a hundred, 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 hundred percent worth it. Big Lots even has 15% off coupons if you sign up on their website for email signups and promotions. Use that coupon. Grab this guy while you can. He is slowly, slowly making his way into stores. This is an absolutely amazing animatronic. One thing I will say is a downside is that he does not come with his adapter. This does need a special kind of adapter that isn't just your typical 6 volt 2 amp DC adapter. A 6 volt 2 amp works perfectly fine with it. I did use that on it previously and just his eyes flickered and he reset a little bit slower. I did take a 6 volt 3 amp DC adapter I had from another animatronic that specializes that cord and does come with it. 
and he does reset faster and his eyes don't flicker when his mouth moves. So it, that is a cord you could purchase on Amazon or purchase directly from Techie on their website, getcoolstuff.com. I will link that website down below for you. So you could purchase it directly from the manufacturer of this animatronic. Overall, I am extremely, extremely pleased with this animatronic. It is made very, very well. Both of his hands are a hard plastic. Both of his feet are a hard plastic. His pants are absolutely amazing. They feel like real jeans. I was not expecting that. They are really, really nice. His IR sensor is hidden very well. It is right here in his leg. His chest fur and his head fur are all very nice quality. His head is also a hard plastic. It is done really, really well. I am really, really impressed with how this animatronic was done. Techie did an absolute amazing job with it. I personally don't have any issues with how it is structurally. My main gripe is that it doesn't come with a specialized cord when it really needs it to function at its fullest. Overall, I 100% recommend this animatronic. This is absolutely amazing. I am so thrilled to finally have it. Huge thank you to Big Lots for releasing this guy this season and for the gift card to be able to go out and grab this guy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe and go out there and get you this wolf from your local big lots.